Hi, I'm Richard, and over the last 10 years, I've helped tens of students get offers to INSEAD's Masters in Management. In fact, my network of the profs has an 85% success rate with this course. INSEAD, unlike other universities, don't publish their success rates. Online speculates they're between 5 and 30%, but we narrow that down to between 15 and 20% meaning that we are four or five times more likely to help our students to get an offer to this school. And INSEAD is repeatedly ranked as a top or top three business school in the world up there with MIT and London Business School. Today, for the first time, I'm gonna be sharing the tips and tricks that I help my students to get an offer at this university. Let's talk very quickly about entry requirements. It is the standard entry requirements for a top management program. That's a 2.1 or a 3.3 US GPA or higher and two years or less of postgraduate work experience. Internships and experiences before you graduate don't count towards that number. INSEAD is unusual in that it is taught in English, but they require you to have business proficiency in at least one other language. So make sure that you're able to evidence that, they will test that. And then even say as a bonus tip, a third language can help you a little bit in your chances of getting an offer. And finally, INSEAD tell you that the GMAT doesn't matter too much and there's no minimum score. But if you look at the median of 710, that's just below Oxford and MIT. It is the third highest GMAT median of any course that we've seen. So the GMAT is very important. In the new currency, the GMAT focus, that's a score of at least 655. But ideally, you want to be aiming a little bit closer to 700 to give you the best chances of getting in. Which segues beautifully into tip number one for INSEAD Masters in Management, which is to prepare for the GMAT. Students need at least 10 or 12 weeks in order to get such a high score, and you're likely to have to retake this one or two times in order to get a score. It's well worth also looking at online resources, possibly even getting a tutor to make sure that you get the highest score possible. If you're applying to INSEAD, you're probably applying to other pop business schools as well, and the GMAT is just as important, if not more important, than those other academic requirements. Now, tip number two is to be tactical about the deadline. Whilst there are many rounds all the way up until the end of April, we strongly advise avoiding the first, and if you can, the final round. The first round, you will be competing against candidates who work with someone like myself, a professional, for over a year, and they will submit on day one with a near perfect application. Be careful unless you really have over requirements and amazing GMAT score and work experience to avoid that most competitive cycle. Equally, the final cycle, there are fewer places. Many people who might already have a year of work experience and maybe just got laid off will be applying and then that's going to have an advantage of work experience over you. It's those middle rounds, which are the juicy ones. Look for round two, look for round three if you can and apply in those to give yourself a slight advantage. Tip number three. INSEAD don't ask for a traditional personal statement. They do have a set of application questions asking your long and short term career goals, your extracurriculars, describing yourself to another student and asking what are you going to do before you enroll on these course. I could do a video on each of these and how to smash them, but I'll say that most importantly is that you have an international motivation. You'll hear INSEAD talk about this a lot. Now, what is an international motivation? It means that you've got something that you want to achieve in your career that is bigger than any one country. Now, INSEAD's a fantastic course that is taught both in France and in their Singapore campus. Students who talk about wanting to work for a multinational firm, or students who talk about the importance of exporting, or maybe helping take knowledge back to their home country to grow key government departments. These students will have an advantage because they're talking about international motivation in their career throughout their application essays. Bonus marks also for leadership and diversity to other core pillars in SIAD really like. 
They want you to be presidential, to talk about all the other things you've achieved outside of academics and how your degree is going to have a positive social impact, not just to help you make lots of money, although many people will graduate with a six-figure salary from this course, which is, of course, probably why you're applying. Tip number four is to look at the electives. Imagine that you are already at INSEAD and you're looking at the electives and choosing the path you're going to take. If you bring that knowledge and that university-specific research into your application, name drop modules and what you want to learn, you're going to look like a much better researched, stronger candidate that will stand out. One thing I noticed in particular with INSEAD is that they have core modules in machine learning and data. These are usually electives in other business schools telling us that INSEAD really rate analytical skills. Now they talk about extracurriculars. If you have analytical skills, maybe you're an expert in Excel, or even better, maybe you've self-taught yourself some Python, bring these in the application. If you don't have these skills, take an additional course online with a certificate and talk about what you learned in that course to make you stronger. But what you must do is look at those electives, tell INSEAD, which electives you're going to study and how they help you with that international motivation and your career and job applications beyond. My penultimate tip is to sign up to an open day. INSEAD gives so much information in these open days. There's actually good online videos where you can watch some of these presentations, but you get more if you can sign up for them online or ideally in person. For example, there's a sixth additional question where it asks is there anything else you'd like to tell the applications committee? And they say that most students will leave this blank, but they like students who go and give an additional tip. If nothing else, it might be a fun fact about them. Maybe they've competed for their country nationally in what they've learned, or maybe they've got an amazing IQ score or a high ELO in chess. Whatever it is, fill it in, have some fun with it and show a bit of personality to yourself in addition to all the other great things you've told the university. Open days will give you so much insight into what they're looking for. Another one they tell you about is to not have an endless CV. They really do like a one-page CV focusing on your extracurriculars and academic achievements and work experience only if you have it. But remember, you don't have to have work experience for this course. Sign up for an open day, hear from them what they want, and it will give you a huge advantage in applying. Now, my final tip is interview preparation. INSEAD, like many others, use the Kira Talent software. That's the pre-recorded interview, and we'll link in the description below my tips on how to ace one of those pre-recorded interviews. They can be very disconcerting if you haven't done one before, and we've got over 200 past Kira prep questions to help you to prepare for this. Interview prep starts in your application. You want to be mentioning throughout applications your strengths, and you're setting yourself up to be able to answer those questions very nicely when it comes to it. Now, that's just a tiny number of the tips that we have to give you an edge in your INSEAD application. If you'd like to learn more, please do contact us using the information on screen now. And please, why not leave a comment? I get back to as many comments as I can, and we love to give individual tips where we can using YouTube. If you found this helpful, please do like and subscribe and check out our other videos. We publish as many as we can to help as many students as we can. And most importantly, good luck in your application.